Hi, this is John LeBlanc from PD. I'm here today to talk about line types and uh, what's available, what the characteristics of each line are, and why you might want to choose one line over another. So Dacron is a good all-around line that is still in use, uh, but as parachutes started getting smaller in the late 70s, early 80s, and going faster, um, the drag of the Dacron line, because of its extra bulk, started to become something that uh, people wanted to get around. Initially, it was a pack volume thing. People were crazy about small pack volumes, so they were looking for a low bulk line. And the line that, that uh, the sport came up with was, was uh, made of Kevlar. Kevlar is used in bulletproof vests. It's known as an aramid fiber. Uh, it, its obvious advantage was this, the, lower, uh, the lower volume, but uh, the fact that it had lower drags was starting to make a difference. Um, it, uh, it was kind of uh, a short-lived thing because as uh, at the same time Kevlar was coming out, the free fall speeds were going up. And uh, it was just behaving funny. Uh, and uh, there were a lot of failures of Kevlar line quite quite early in the life of a parachute, you know, 20, 40, 50 jumps, you just start having lines breaking. And it just wasn't worth it. <laughs> it just wasn't worth it. So Kevlar was the first low bulk line. It's pretty much not in use at all in sport right now. 